Now when Frontier Wargaming reached out to me a couple of months ago and said would you like one of our hobby cases fully decked out to review on your channel, I said fucking obviously yes I do. It's something I've wanted to get myself since I got back into the hobby like three and a half, four years ago, but with my paint collection and terrain supplies and all the other knickknacks and ghibli bits, I thought there's no way I will be able to get everything I need into one storage solution to take my miniature painting on the go with me. But as we will eventually see through the course of this video, I was massively incorrect. The standard case measures 460 millimeters by 310 millimeters and 115 millimeters deep. If like me, your perception of millimeters is my, my perception of the yen currency, I think that basically means not too big, not too small, fits a lot of stuff. The basic stock loadout features four paint drawers, two large toolboxes,
Two lots of miniature holders each are completely removable and feature five paint handles each. And each case comes with a high quality adjustable shoulder strap. The case itself is made from wood, like a really nice dark stained wood. As you can tell, I don't know much about wood. Uh, I just know it's nice and it feels expensive. And I can certainly tell you it's not balsa wood. Balsa wood's the only one that I know. It's not that. The case gets all the more spicier when you start throwing on the modular add-ons that the company produce. The canvas bag was a big upgrade for me, but it feels totally worth it. Adding some nice canvas protection and corners that are reinforced with crazy horse leather, which I think is cowboy lingo for saddle leather. It's tough as shit, basically. Wet palette, which is some language for wet palette. Hobby painters seem to have their favorite kinds of wet palettes, but to me, they're always much of a muchness. It's a sealed palette, or should be sealed, with a wet sponge underneath it and parchment paper on top as the actual palette. That's what a wet palette is. That's what it needs to do. That's what it needs to be. How does this one stand out from the crowd? Well, for starters, it's got a cheeky clamp on the outside to stop that paint and moisture going everywhere. And a package of parchment paper cut to shape comes with every order. So yeah, does the job really well. Keeps the paints moist. Can't really fault it. Good job. I would elaborate more, but a wet palette is just one of those things that people seem to get really pernickety and finickety about, but I, I, I've used loads of different kinds from homemade to really expensive professional ones, and honestly, there's not much of a difference. So I'm assuming that this one, in performing its most basic function and doing it really well, is good. So I'm going to give another thumbs up to the wet palette. Miniature holders. These things I'm semi-particular about. Obviously, followers of the channel know that I have issues with my fine motor skills, in my hands especially, and having a good hold on my miniatures is really important to me. So these holders with a lump of blue tack on top, job done. Sometimes I like to mount my miniatures upside down just to spice my life up a bit. You know, I'm a crazy guy like that. Again, these are reliable and totally do the job, and the trays with the miniatures slot securely back into the case after every session. Now you might be thinking, well, it's just a bit of wood with a blue tack thing on the end. And ultimately, yes, it is. But what we need to keep in mind is that this case is all about the modularity and storage in one solution. I've used quite a few different holders and handles, and the ones that I don't really like are the ones that are completely smooth and cylindrical. And these ones, despite their simplicity, give me a really good grip. Lastly, in terms of the add-ons that they sent me, I want to talk about the clip-on hobby light because this thing ultimately had the make or break factor for me. And the light is good. It's really good. Initially, I had some reservations. The, the light is set to 4,000 Kelvin, which might not mean much to some people, but basically that's between tungsten and daylight somewhere, leaning more towards daylight a little bit. I normally film in the studio under 5500 Kelvin and the two big photography lamps and some of these panels that I dot around. And predominantly that's because my right eye is damaged from my second MS relapse, so I like a lot of light to work with to avoid eye strain. But secondly, it's also to cast a nice, even diffused light across the miniature, because when you're painting light values, shade and brightness, and you're painting loads of different color shades, you want an honest reproduction of light, how this is gonna look in most scenarios, which is daylight. 5500 Kelvin. Having used the case at home where I don't have my film lights to film under or any other room for desk lamps, I found that it was a nice balance between tungsten and daylight. So the eye strain working underneath this light just wasn't really there, which is a good thing. The main beef I had with the light initially was that it came with these flimsy little stick things that slotted into the top of the case and they were too short. <laughs> so rather than having a nice diffused distributed light over the top of the miniature, I had to lean into the case if I wanted that. Uh, otherwise, if I sat comfortably, everything was kind of backlit and backlighting for painting light values and shade is completely useless. So Frontier Wargaming, after a month of me using it, asked if I had any feedback and I said, yeah, the light's great, but the fitting needs some work. And amazingly, they took that on board and said, yeah, no problem. We're just going to design a whole new light fitting. We'll send it out for you and you'll get it within 24 hours. 
which was really fucking cool. So the new light fitting has variable points where you can hook the light on depending how far you want to lean into the case or how chill you want to be. And yeah, for me, it's as far out as possible so I can get a nice, even diffused light across the miniature that I'm working on. They have assured me that all light fittings that now ship out come with this brand new fitting. So you're welcome. You're welcome. So we've had a look at the case. I've talked about it. We've had a little weird John Woo sketch that I made for no fucking reason about this thing. The ultimate test we need to do is to take it somewhere to see if we can paint in the most hostile of environments. I'm heading down to London to film one of the most generic companies in the world and I'm going to see just how much I can take down there with me and I'm going to see if I can set up for a miniature painting session using only this case. And wow, Soho is a pretty crusty place. And after a pimp tried to offer me some company for the evening, I went up to my room and I got things set up. Fucking hell, you get what you pay for in London, don't you? Fuck me. So the point of me bringing the paint case here was that I would be able to show you that I could set the paint case up virtually anywhere. But in Soho, that apparently doesn't apply. Uh, I'm gonna have to be a little bit creative here, I think. It's just like, you know, as standard a hotel room normally has a desk to do something like I can barely, I can't even fucking hold my arm out when I rotate around in here. But I suppose this is like the ultimate test. Where in this environment do I set up a hobby station? There's physically nowhere that I can do that comfortably. Unless... So what did I take? A Battle Sister squad, a full set of contrast paints, some miscellaneous Citadel pots of stuff, a dozen brushes, the wet palette, a set of Artist Opus brushes, a water pot, a full set of Pro Acryl paints plus two expansion sets. That's pretty good. That is pretty good for one bag. All toilet humor aside, I think I could have actually sat there and painted quite comfortably with this setup, so cool. However, it was 2 a.m and I had a job to do the next day with a load of kit that I've never used before. So for the sake of my job, I didn't actually sit there and paint anything. I just wanted to see if I could. Of course, all of that is completely irrelevant and by the by, because we were actually an entire week early to the film shoot. So we packed up and we left and we headed back to York and made a cheeky stop to Warhammer World on the way back. My colleague, Jamie, is uh, an absolute massive supporter of this endeavor and me trying to get this channel bigger and better. And I wanted to explain Warhammer in a way to him where, well, it included food and beer and a huge exhibit and it just contextualized everything really well for him. So yeah, I think we made the most of a bum trip really. So I've looked at all the bits, I've got in detail with it, I've used it for about three or four months now. How do I feel about the Frontier Wargaming miniature case overall? And full ethics message, I'm supposed to do these, I think, to say that I'm being sponsored. I am being sponsored, and they did give me a free paint case, and they are giving me some money to do it. However, it's not enough money to buy my opinion. So they want my honest opinion, which is fine. Let's do that. The only reason I didn't get this case way back when was because I didn't think I could fit as much in it as I know that I now can. Knowing that now, Back then, if I had a time machine, I'd have told myself to go and buy it. But also, don't worry too much about it because someone's going to send you one for free eventually anyway. What was I talking about? My opinion. Solid. It's great. It's really good. So far, I've painted in hotel rooms, cafes, my mum and dad's house, my mum and dad's garage, 
the little office at home, on my lap at home, not particularly comfortably, but still on my lap at home, and the host of modular accessories that you can get later down the line or with your initial purchase. It's all good stuff. And it really is a nifty solution for people that have, you know, limited hobby space at home or have to clean up immediately afterwards or people that just travel a lot. And the guys at Frontier Wargaming have been kind enough to offer a little smidgy discount code to my current patrons as well. As always, guys, if you like what you see on this channel, go and do a little explore if you're new here, see what we're all about. Leave me a like and a subscribe to stay alive. Thank you very much. Cheers. I'm out of here.